What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, John Cannon. Hold up, hit him with that. Hit him with that pose. Hi, are you supposed to twist? Nah. Classic bodybuilding, you supposed to just stand straight and just. <laughs> Anyway, fuck all that. Listen, random topic Tuesday. This topic, I didn't choose this out of the topics y'all chose last week because y'all know what's coming up this weekend that your boy hyped for. I was looking kind of flat. I saw it in the viewfinder, so bad. But what's coming up this weekend is that Conor, Conor McGregor, Floyd Mayweather fight. Oh, nigga, I can't wait. Cause y'all been talking mad shit. I even got a bet going on with uh, one of the homies. I ain't gonna say your name, but he bet me a t-shirt. He bet me a triangular eat good, sleep, sleep good t-shirt, even though he bought all three. He was like, bet, if Conor McGregor win, you guys send me one. If Floyd Mayweather win, I'm gonna buy one. I was like, bet, my nigga. I'm not, I'm not putting that bet out there for y'all. Cause if Conor McGregor catch that nigga, it's gonna be a whole other thing. But let's just break this down. And uh, from both sides, and see how preposterous each side sounds. Okay, first of all, my perspective is the most delicious perspective, and this is the realest perspective. These motherfuckers, I need to stop cussing on this channel. These dudes is about to get paid. Okay, I think it's estimated that Conor McGregor could make up to a hundred million, and Floyd Mayweather could make up to three hundred million. It's not really looking like that though, because they are struggling to sell tickets. They're struck like them pay-per-view tickets gonna be struggling a little bit because pay-per-view fights and stuff is turning is into the music industry. Y'all remember when you had to go out and buy an album? Who when the last time y'all bought an album? Just really, just like pause. Think about the last time you went to the store and bought the new album of nigga. Can't say that either. Uh, of Bruh, Omarion, like Bow Wow. I used to buy Bow Wow albums until I got LimeWire and I gave my computer AIDS. You know what I'm saying? But that was a lot, that, them, those were the days of buying albums when like Ludacris Chicken and Beer came out. Same thing is happening to fights, okay? Every time there's a major fight, right after the fight, literally 30 seconds after the fight goes offline, it's, it's the whole fight is popped up on, um, on, on Facebook or YouTube or whatever, and they, and they, so many people post it, they now they can't all get flagged, and so that's the same thing that's happening to fights. That's just my little rant about the money side of it. Like, man, they gonna struggle, and every fight is gonna struggle now because you have Facebook Live, Instagram Live, YouTube Live, everything is live. All they have to do is stream it out on one of those services. But with all that being said, um. Who do I think is going to win? No brainer. I think it's going to be Floyd Mayweather. Now, I am a Floyd Mayweather fan even though every time he gets in the ring, I want to see him get knocked out because the nigga, he don't get hit, bro. He be, he be, huh, 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 pop, huh, wah, wah, wah. He, he box, because I watch a lot of boxing every day, YouTube, TV, whenever I can catch it. He boxes like he's, he's fighting to win the Olympics. And for those of y'all who don't know, just for the average boxing fan, y'all looking for somebody to knock somebody out every time they swing. Y'all looking for a brawl. That's not boxing. Boxing is outboxing your competitor. Hitting this person without getting hit. That is, I'm famous. That is the perfect, like, that's who Mayweather is at his core. And so for all the people who say, Oh, all it's going to take is one punch to catch Mayweather. All it's going to take is one punch. All it's going to take is one punch and he's going to knock him out. All it's going to take is one punch. Let me run this by you real quick. Floyd Mayweather, one of the reasons why he's regarded as maybe one of the greatest of all time is because not only has he never been beaten, his quality of opponent isn't just like he fought a bunch of no-name people. He has fought everyone in his generation. Everyone spanning like three generations. Everyone that, that was a big name. From Alvarez to Pacquiao to Cotto, he has fought everyone. He has beat everyone. The one per, you think, hold on. You think Conor McGregor 
punches, punches, punches now. I'm not talking about kick, I'm not talking about elbows. You think he strikes with his fist harder than Manny Pacquiao? Harder than Cotto? Harder than Ortiz? With his fist in a boxing ring? For 12 rounds, you think he strikes harder than them? Absolutely not. Just let me just think about this real quick. If those athletes were, Pacquiao got made to look like he was a normal person just boxing Floyd Mayweather. Okay, Pacquiao. You think McGregor is a better striker with his fist than Pacquiao? Absolutely not. And Floyd Mayweather made a whole laundry list of greats look average. So to think that he's going to catch him one good time, all Pacquiao had to do was catch him one good time. All Ortiz had to do was catch him one good time. All Berto had to do was catch him one good time. Hell, all uh, De La Hoya had to do was catch him one good time. I don't care how much of a brawler you are, how up on him you think you're going to get up on him and put him against the ropes. Mayweather will make you look stupid no matter what you're doing. And we have learned over and over and over and over that people who try to take it to Mayweather, that is the worst fighting style against Floyd Mayweather. Because not only is he going to make you look stupid, he is going to whoop you with counter punches. But that's just the Floyd Mayweather argument, okay? That is just the Floyd Mayweather argument. Let's talk about Conor McGregor and the possibility of Conor McGregor catching Floyd Mayweather. Say I'm a Conor McGregor fan. Here's what I have going for myself. Floyd Mayweather took time off. He's been off for what, two years? Um, he's 40 now. He's getting older. Uh, Conor McGregor is seen, seems to be, you know, they weigh about the same, but he seems to be bigger in stature. You know how you can have a guy same height as you, same weight as you, but that nigga just, that dude just look bigger. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of that feel with the Conor McGregor, Floyd Mayweather. Um, Conor McGregor, I believe, me personally, I feel like he can take more pun punishment than a regular boxer without being phased because when you go from, you know, like boxers are taught to, you know, take hits with hands, take hits with blows. MMA fighters can get kicked in the head and still expect to, you know, to fight somebody. Now that, I fully understand that. You're built to get whooped and keep on giving. I'll say that is that is a very, very big plus in Conor McGregor's side. But even when you look at somebody like Mayweather, he's not looking to knock you out. He's looking to win. So whether you can, you know, whether you feel him hitting you or not, it's all about them scorecards. And so, ah, let me just keep fighting for Conor McGregor. Um, Conor McGregor has that never say die attitude. Conor McGregor, one big thing that I think is cool for Conor McGregor, which is going to really work for him in the first two rounds, is his unorthodox like style. He's like, he kind of reminds you of Lepchenko. If y'all don't know who Lepchenko is, go watch. He doesn't have the title right now for the greatest pound for pound boxer, but he is. That, that freaking Russian whatever he is Joker be moving around making people look stupid he like the little white Roy Jones Jr. that's what he's like honestly and he takes after him a lot too but oh with all that being said I'll say Conor McGregor has all the things I just listed he has that chance of stuff that chance but when it comes down to if I had to walk up to you and and you had and we both own houses and I said uh, sign your house over to me if if uh, McGregor loses and you say sign your house over to me if Mayweather loses I will be so much happier thinking Mayweather is gonna win versus thinking Mayweather is gonna lose you know one thing me and my dad say when we talk about stuff like I'm a big fan of tennis I love me some Roger Federer love me some Roger Federer you know what I'm saying but when he goes against uh, Novak when he goes against uh, like Milos on Hardcourt, when he goes against Nadal on Clay, I'm always rooting. I'm always rooting for Roger Federer. But if you're going against Nadal on Clay, or somebody said, um, this is what me and my dad always say, well, if you had to put your money on it, who are you going for? If I had to put my money on it, gotta go with the money team. That's all I'm saying. And just something I wanna make very clear. I went to Vegas one time, 
and I went and watched Floyd Mayweather. He, you know, for about two hours, him do a workout. He has like, he has like a like a, a crowd of 50 people. I went one time, and I was in that crowd of 50 people. Please excuse my language. That little nigga hit that heavy bag so fucking hard, bruh. I thought it was a joke. I thought it was, I thought it was made up. Bro, how much is made? He, this was maybe, this was like, I was like 18, this is 18, 19. <sighs> like six years ago, maybe? No, I'm not that old. It was like four years ago? Yeah. This little 150 something pound juggle was just, bah, boom. The bag was just boom, rock. And so after he gets done, you know, he walks out, everybody goes to the front, he don't even talk to nobody. Mayweather just comes in, trains and leaves. Freaking, I was like, let me see how light this bag is because there ain't no way in the world this could be a real heavy bag. There's no way in the world. There's no way in the world this could be a real heavy bag. I said, bet, let me go up here, I said, oh, oh, it's a real heavy bag. I thought I was gonna punch it like it wasn't a real heavy bag. So, to say Floyd Mayweather can't strike someone who's been striking for years, 40 year old man who's been striking since he was a little kid, you think, you think Conor McGregor can throw a punch better than Floyd Mayweather? You out your mind, all right? But that's just how I feel, how y'all feel. Argue in the comments. I will be arguing back. I will be arguing back. But at the end of the day, all y'all need to remember is three things and y'all gonna be all right. That's if you train good, eat good, and sleep good, then that's a good-ass life.